A question of character. The adventure begins. Well, not for the wildcat. But yes, for Adol. Adol craves adventure. Any adventure. Except fortune adventure. This is left to his adventure companion, Dogi. Dogi is warned of imminent crystallized danger via fortune teller. Then he peacefully leaves. Adol is bored of peace. Adol desires fresh new adventure. Encouraging Dogi to capitalize on his horrible fortune. Then he kills that wildcat. But then they reach Redmond. Dogi hometown, epicenter for adventure-related activities such as mining rescue. Edgar is- I must rescue him! Adol pledges adventure before even providing his name. Ah! Adol ventures, excuse me, adventures to the Tigray Quarry. But before Adol screamed, he purchased weaponry, prepping his sword, armor, and shield. Adol is off! The townspeople warn him of outer world dangers. However, Adol is prepared, or he just doesn't care. Because Adol kills anything in his way, his slice rarely ending. The sturdiest of strikes, recalcitrant of fatigue, Adol kills everything, even those with brief introductions. I am- Die, 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 die. Adol slices always, even while falling. Ah! Adol is an accomplished swordsman, having become a savior of the world three years before. But although Adol has prior experience in battle and adventure. He does not have experience in this battle and adventure. Unable to kill a slime, no matter. He shall first kill something else. Die! Now he can kill it. Die! Yes! Murder increases my abilities! Adol is stronger, faster, and more killier, but is also frequently required to return to Redmont City. Time to see Edgar! Edgar. Edgar is the town elder, providing Adol with adventure quests that he simply cannot say no to. Literally. Because you can't finish the game otherwise. Hello! Adol raises his sword in conversation. He meets Elena. Elena. Elena speaks of her missing brother, Chester. Chester. Then asks if Adol- Yes! Let's rescue your brother! Dogi states that he's staying. I'll rescue your brother! Adol finds Chester, with Chester repaying Adol's alacrity by pushing him off a cliff. Adol possesses poor planning skills. For example, Adol comes to a group that cannot open a treasure chest. But then Adol- Adventure chest! Ah, curse! Adol releases the curse of Galbalan, the cursed name revealed by Dogi's fortune teller. Dogi has warned Adol of his overconfidence because Adol does not think. Adol only slices, thankfully. Dogi is always by his side to protect him. Except for right now. Dogi has things to do. Fortunately, so does Adol. He is a man that would rather die than not adventure, stating that he has nothing left if that word is taken from his life. Adol has the skills. Regular slice, upward slice of maniacal panic. Adol is master of the scoochy slice. Adol can jump one and a half stories high and fall from even more stories, receiving absolutely no damage. Adol's adrenaline is just that high. Adol wears pants and a shirt matching his fiery red attitude and hair. Armor covers his vulnerable areas, upgradable through purchase or treasure. Adol generally does not display pain, barely wincing if stricken, but able to heal himself by walking outside. Yes, I'm better! Medicinal herbs allow for energy recovery, but even more useful are Adol's rings. Instead of magic, Adol uses rings this time, changing the hue of his armor, allowing for power healing shielding, manipulation of time, and protection. However, he also has other items for destruction and restoration of power, along with a selection of swords, shields, and armor, able to carry all of these items on his person without affecting his performance, bravely traveling to any land, snow, lava, or netherworld, via ship, bravely uncovering this land's conspiracies, such as the Balasatine Castle, incoming seizure of Redmond, Chester's true intentions, Elena's fate, 
and Robert. A guy that's lost. Power. Excellent. Adel has an infinite slice. And with more experience as well as sword upgrades, Adel becomes a walking, slicing, and screaming force of ah! defense. Excellent. After increasing his abilities, then combining his rings, shield, and armor in the correct manner, Adel is near unstoppable. Of course, if Adel had better planning, then he likely could avoid most skirmishes. But thinking is for a thinker. Adventurers do the damn thing. Agility. Excellent. Adel jumps on rocks and upon platforms with ease and falls this far without even so much as bending his knees. Now that's agility. Grade A. Although Adel questions himself, wondering why he constantly fights for others, he cannot help himself. It's his business to get up in your business. Still, it is questionable how Adel survived up to this long. Maybe it's because he's lucky. Or maybe it's because he's lucky. Or maybe it's because he constantly slices like a human hedge clipper. Regardless, Adel chooses adventure over love. Adventure over boring adventure. And slice over thought. Adventure on, young Adel. Yeah, he only has about five years left, tops. Next episode. The Ninja Warriors are the immortal murder machines. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question. Ah, oh, character. character.